How's it going, everyone? This is King Thomas Fight One here, and today I'm going to be reviewing two adventures Gator and Marion, the two characters that were introduced in Tale of the Brave. Start off, I'm going to review first is Gator. So, Gator is a character who looks like an alligator, is a character who appeared in Tale of the Brave three episodes in season 18, which is Missing Gator, Toad's Bright Idea, and Long Lost Friend. Alright, let's get him out of the package. Alright, so here is Gator. This is a really, really nice merchandise. I think he looks really great. So much better than a take and play with a round magnet. The take and play Gator that was released in 2014, his design looks really nice, but the ugly thing is, is his round magnet. This is so much better though. But one, th but one thing I really don't like about this uh, Gator that is that his front and his back buffer beam are not painted red. Ryan and Steven. Same characters as well that are not fully painted. Ryan's buffer beam is not fully painted red, it's just fully painted black. And Steven, on the other hand, should have been painted brown because his front wooden uh, buffer beam should have been brown. But overall, Gator looks really nice, and I think his details on him looks really nice. Alright, next up is Marion, the Railway Steam Shovel. So like Gator, Marion was introduced in Tale of the Brave, and she's a character who works at the Sodor China Clay Pits with Bill and Ben and Timothy. Alright, let's get her out of the package. Alright, so here is Marion, the Railway Steam Shovel. I gotta say, her design looks really, really great. This is probably have to be one of my favorite merchandise in a long time. Definitely better than the Tech and Play. The Tech and Play, overall, a great, a great details on Marion, but the fact that the round magnet on her is just a very ugly thing to see. <laughs> but overall, I love her, uh, her shovel arm, whatever you want to call it. It moves up and down really nicely. And it turns left and right really well as well. Overall, I don't not, not sure what else to say about Marion. I think she looks really great. I think they did a really great job on her. I'll do have to say they did a really great job taking the round magnet off and we place a better a better coupling. So that's it really, that's my review of the adventures Gator and Marion. Overall, Gator is really nice, I love the details, but what could have been done better is the buffer beams being painted red instead of le leaving it black. Maybe some few of the details here and there. Overall, not bad, but could have done some few of details here and there. I give Gator a two thumbs up. As for Marion, her design looks really nice, and I think this is one of the best model in a really long time. However, I forgot to mention, there are some few things that could have been added more, such as the buffers and painted buffer beams red. I just realized that. I really don't know why they don't go into more further details on, on some characters. But overall, I... I found nothing wrong with Marion. I think this is one of the best merchandise that Mattel has made so far. Anyways, that's my thoughts on Gator and Marion. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, I hope you all have a great day.